Well then, good day and good morning to a special kind of program of fitness um, which I would call kind of elementary fitness and uh, which I will try to explain to you now step by step. Well, my name is Pavel Yanda and I've been uh, working in the field of physiotherapy and fitness and tennis and skiing and tourism for quite a long time maybe it's about 30 years and uh, now I have become a barbarian at the end I stand amidst the deep woods in the southern part of um, central Bohemia on a hill called Hlum and I have this wooden stick in hand. What does it mean? Well, my program of fitness uh, comes out of um, a theoretical discussion in present-day Germany by a philosopher whose name is Peter Sloterdijk who has uh, written a big book of 700 pages trying to explain to us that now if we want to be we want to lead a meaningful life to which also a kind of a transcendental experience uh, belongs this is a necessary experience which gives a meaning to your life we cannot um, do it as uh, our ancestors have done in the past centuries and for thousands of years that we simply were discharge and divide ourselves and we throw away our body or we do some spiritual techniques and we hope to so to say push us away from the body into some uh, transcendental area and on the contrary we have to take our body always with us okay if we want to have a transcendental experience present day time because nobody seriously believes in those other worlds at least if he does not have a very serious reason to which um, in very many cases is something rather not life supporting if you are very ill if you are if you have lost the meaning of your life personal friendship love if you simply have given up hope to live in this world a meaningful serious and a happy life then naturally you must look for some other world okay Okay, so what do we do? Uh, we go up the hill simply, or okay, and we, after the preliminary warming up of some kind of uh, tapping exercise and moving our joints, okay, or in a medically correct way, okay, uh, medically correct way, okay, so then we go up the hill okay and we can do it without um, weight or we can take some weight and uh, as we go we make this power exercise okay in various variations okay there can be various variations you go and you do your push up and so right up. okay biceps okay and this triceps you can or you can do it for your deltoid muscles while going okay. so now this is a uh, fitness which should bring you a kind of uh, long duration capability of uh, physical exercise it is not something for somebody who has to you know to stand in front of the mir mirror and have have weight and and have big muscles yeah without coordination now this is always coordination 
because we do it by walking, né? there are uh, components of um, you know harmonious qigong because as you go, you try to compensate the movement of the right hand with the movement of the empty left hand, okay, and uh, the idea is this behind that that um, I believe that uh, what is the main problem for the vast majority of um, people today I am not talking about professional sportsmen no? uh, they always know what to do and they are more than gladiators like in the last days of Rome they are being consumed by the super power machine of money making and advertisement and uh, professional sport. The majority should not sit in front of the TV and look at them. <laughs> you should do something. Okay. Uh, and uh, what you need is not muscles in the sense of you know some superhuman muscles. No? But what you need is, uh, you know, condition and long durability, long duration capability of uh, doing some exercise because we all have stopped working simply uh, in, in, in nature, you know. For hundreds and hundreds of hundreds of years, and thousands of thousands of thousands of years, human beings have been like hunters, or like farmers, you know, and it's only about three, 400 years where uh, greater, maybe 200 years, uh, uh, greater mass of people have stopped working. And we have all kinds of these diseases out of that. So we need something which would remind our, our body of work, but we don't want to make it too heavy for us so that our spine would go wrong and we would look like that. Because this is the meaning of uh, technological revolution in the Renaissance. It was very reasonable to invent all those machines which would take away our work. But to take away completely everything and make us only to sit in front of a computer and, and play with the mouse, this is a disaster. So we go up the hill and we stop after, you know, this is a weight of some kind, like if I make this 50 times, you know, if I make this 50 times by walking, I should feel it, you know. And then I throw it away, and I feel a wonderful, warm and solid feeling in my muscles, but they are not something, you know, I have not been lifting 100 kilo five times, like, you know, looking at the mirror, you know, like a monster. You know, no. Now, I, what do I do now? I take some exercise of, uh, you know, it looks like an elegant circle, something from Qigong or from Tai Chi, or simply something of stretching yourself and embracing Mother Nature. Yeah? You see, there is a hill, so I go down the hill, up the hill, clouds, trees, blue, white, green. And so I simply, this aroused energy is being, you know, you know formed, it's, it's following the lines of chi, and above all, it's uh, also like, um, I have to walk a little bit again with this camera so that you see the area a little bit. Uh, it's like you need at least an hour of uh, this form of exercise, condition, muscle and movement, coordination uh, and uh, this kind of uh, relaxation period with uh, harmonious exercises of Qigong quality. You need at least an hour and you watch your pulse so that it doesn't fall too much below 100. Uh, that you, you know, arouse uh, this consumption of uh, fat, fat yeah, yeah, in your body, you know, because otherwise uh, you would stay simply, you know, on the everyday level of uh, energy exchange when you want.